God damn, welcome back to Long Awaited Return. The legend disappears, but he never dies. Today I'm here with Viva from San Antonio Brewery. This is a Americana lager that is 5.5% alcohol by volume. You know, I've been doing uh, a few local beers from around San Antonio lately, and it only seems right that I do it with the uh, return. So, fuck it, let's get into it. Viva American Lager has a nice wet base with gray triangular and zigzag patterns in the background. This is great because it makes the shades of blue and orange pop that much brighter. Usually I don't care for cans that have this much color variation, but this can pulls it off by having the tones grouped together as opposed to scattering the colors all over the can. The brewer's title, Viva, really stands out because of this in addition to having an exclamation point instead of an eye. Uh, the top of the can says, uh, Celebramos Juntos, which I like a lot. Uh, that means let's celebrate together. Um, towards the bottom of the can, there's a fantastic silhouette of San Antonio cityscape complete with the Alamo, the Tower Americas, and other notable buildings in San Antonio. This really states and reinforces the identity of this beer and instills the brewer's love of the city onto the can. <laughs> also, a uh, fun fact, on the back of the can, I know this is a um, beer that's brewed by San Antonio Brewery, but it says, um, carefully brewed for Viva in Austin, Texas, with no, which is a little bit ironic, but I found really funny. Um, <laughs> you know... But overall, this is a great design. I believe this can leaves a great lasting imprint on those that look at it. I really do like the design on this can. On pour, we see a beautiful golden color. There's not too much room, but that's honestly probably because of the way I poured it. Um, the initial taste is like a bubbly malt flavor with a hint of lime that leads to a crisp finish. This is a pretty light beer. And honestly, there's not much else to say, man. Uh, this beer isn't trying to do too much. It tastes like a classic lager with a Hispanic twist to me. Um, the Jolt is a very solid beer that I feel like many people would enjoy. The aesthetic of Viva's American lager is reflective of the unique culture of San Antonio and its Hispanic heritage. This, paired with the bright, well-contrasted colors, creates a truly memorable aesthetic that carries true substance. The taste of Viva's American Lager is solid and brings a nice switch to the lager style and can feel to most beer drinkers, but it isn't the most unique beer you'll encounter. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just doesn't allow me to score it any higher than what I awarded. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I've been really busy with work and school and such. Life's been kind of kicking my ass lately, but I'm going to do my best to try to start up uploading on a regular basis and try to get back to what I've been doing. Uh, I really do appreciate the patience, you know. Um, if you do have anything, you want me to, any beers you want me to try or anything like that, please leave a comment, you know, like and subscribe, all that bullshit. Uh, and I'll see you all the fuck later. You can't keep up with me. Just look at my speed!